What's up? My Savilla Shavu of Ogmeister twice the nice that you are used to chick chick sublimps and we are here today and we are checking out the honest trail for the Oscars. Huh. So link in the description down below, please go check it out for yourself first. But let's do it. Let's go. Let's goody. Oscars. I have not paid any attention to the Oscars. Seriously. It's time once again hey. for the Oscars, the annual award show for the year's best movies. In mm -hmm. a year where no one could go to the movies. Uh -huh. But since nothing can stop Hollywood's biggest stars from giving awards to each other, uh -huh. here are your honest nominees for this year's best picture. Prepare for a film about injustice, political activism, the whole yep. world is watching. and social movements that couldn't have come at a more timely moment. Oscar season. It's the Academy Awards <laughs> of protest, and as far as I'm concerned, it's an honor just to be nominated. In Aaron Sorkin's first film to give the finger to historical truth since, well, his last four movies, featuring Borat's uh. wackiest accent yet. Over the course of 10 days, the government called 37 witnesses. Eddie Redmayne's third or fourth wackiest accent yet. Whether we're given permits or not, we're coming. And the guy from Succession doing an impression of Cheech and Chong at the same time. It's Tom <laughs> Collins. I know it's kind of a country club drink, but they're delicious. Smoking so on get inspired for more of the fast-paced Sorkin-y speechifying that could maybe almost change someone's mind about something if they were already open to the ideas in the first place and you caught them on a good day. Chicken soup for the liberal soul. <laughs> Experience oh. the moving story of Black Panther leader Fred Hampton, snitch, in an intimate portrayal <laughs> of the relationship between this backstabbing bullshitter and Jesse Plemons' latest white boy you don't want to mess with, leaving audiences with about as much knowledge of the Black Panther movement as Forrest Gump. Sorry I had a fight in the middle of your Black Panther party. That still definitely deserves a Best Picture nomination, but it's kind of sting that Defy Bloods got snubbed while Spike Lee's literal film student got in. You do know you can honor more than one black director at a time, right? At least nominate Delroy Lindo, you cowards. From the colossal castles atop Coenga to the bustling boulevards of Boys Town, all of Hollywood is in the tank for Mank. That compelling Kane Chronicle from Fight Club frontman Fincher has everyone talking, from film historians to film festival programmers. Heck, even film preservationists want Hanky Panky from Mr. Mankey. Don't have intimate mm -hmm. knowledge of old Hollywood history? Well, hit the books, Junior. Any man jack who doesn't know their shearers from their selznicks is gonna get all flipped around before you can say Irving J. Thalberg. Oh, brother. Gary Oldman is the cat's pajamas as the man who put the mank in Herman J. Mankiewicz, a fella who was half the actor's age when this all took place. Stop by the trailer for another layer of powder, Mr. Oldman. You'll get there. Plus, there's the lovely Lily Collins as Mank's secretary, who takes notes on all of his opinions. And the amazing Amanda Seyfried as Mank's friend, who listens patiently to all his opinions. And the transcendent Tuppence Middleton as Mank's wife, who sits quietly while he has his opinions. Great mm. job, dames. Maybe you'll get some opinions of your own one day. After all, <laughs> it's Tinseltown, where dreams come true. So grab your most patient grandparent for a retro revisionist roller coaster ride of righteousness, relevance, and rebuke. That may look like a classic film, but unfolds with all the aimless filler of a modern day 13 episode Netflix show. Take that, oh. Mr. Punisher. You've just been manked what good? Prank Mankers. Meet Ruben, a hardcore rocker who loses his hearing, which is a nightmare scenario for a musician, and I guess pretty bad for drummers too. Watch him go through the five stages of grief with an extended stop in anger. I'm deaf! I'm deaf! Yeah, take that, Donut. You've had it too good for too long. In this shoe in to win all of the sound awards and continues the whiplash tradition of angry drummer movies that deserve Best Picture but won't win. And hey, at least Riz Ahmed is the first Muslim to ever get a Best Actor nomination. So, we're still hitting these firsts after almost 100 years of the Oscars, huh? Good for us, yay. Def Jam. <laughs> Let That's Chloe funny. Zhao's masterful direction sweep across the pristine beauty of America, most of the time. Ooh. For a documentary full of real people, plus a famous actor so that you'd actually watch it. In this film that could be viewed as an indictment of modern capitalism, or an endorsement for how sweet fan life can be. I mean, just look at that yeah. puppy. Solid as a rock. Got an indoor stove for hot chow, ample storage. More counter space. And no landlord breathing down your neck? SNL lied to us. Living in a van down by the river is awesome. Bucket pissed. I would not want to do that. From the writer-director, who I still haven't forgiven for being so mean to Lady Di. 
comes Ooh. the tale of a vigilante who uses herself as man bait for sexual predators. Oh, so that she can I give see. These I think I might have seen this. Deserve a stern talking to. Uh. Let me go out, Neil. In this film, with parallels to another story about someone in makeup who hates society. Oh no, <laughs> a lady joker with a powerful message for girls. Do not trust men. If they were an adorable comedic actor who peaked around 2010. I want to see you. The real you. Oh, Lord. At two, McLovin? <laughs> Don't kill Bill for some reason. From the studio who brings you horror films that turn out to be elaborate metaphors about the notion of family or whatever, comes a movie about being <laughs> an Asian family in America, which was already pretty scary without putting a Babadook or whatever in it. Return to the 80s, where despite what Stranger Things and Wonder Woman say, was not covered in neon everywhere. And oh. meet the Yee family, a hearty band from California determined to get out of the chicken sex in business. In this stirring tale about how farming is really effing hard and marriage is even harder, but but at least Mountain Dew is delicious. My favorite? My favorite. <laughs> Whose deliberate pace will give your brain enough time to connect everything back to The Simpsons. Check it out. Angry Dad Who Loves Food. Sad Mom Who's Worried All The Time. Devout Christian Neighbor. Grandparent Who's Starting To Lose It. A Rebellious Boy And His Smart And Respectful Sister and they all cram into a beat-up station wagon. Hey, maybe they should have tried growing tobacco instead of Korean vegetable. Okay, I'll stop. I'll stop. Veggie Tales. <laughs> Veggie Tales. Anthony Hopkins gives the performance of a lifetime. Oh, yeah, I heard about this. Man refusing help for the dementia that's slowly eating away at his mind. That's such a heartbreaking, torturous, and cruel portrayal of a legend's final days. There's no way you actually watched it. Nah, -uh, no. This year has been hard enough. I'm just gonna watch this TikTok to relax instead. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> the Downer. Oh, Lord. Starring all the things you actually decided to watch this year. Yep. Live action cartoons. <laughs> Live action cartoons we took yeah. way too seriously. Yep. All the new Netflix shows. Yep. All of the old Netflix shows. Yep. All of Netflix until all that's left is cooking and real estate shows. Uh -huh. He's not even eaten a taco before. <laughs> You're a taco virgin. Yep. You gotta eat a taco with me. I gotta be your first taco. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> okay, fine, those two. Nah. Riding $60 on fire. Your cat. <laughs> and the wall you glare at during your neighbor's loud parties when you know they aren't socially distancing because that's a studio apartment. And I would love to have company too, but some of us are being responsible. And I haven't felt the warm touch of another human being in months because of this wasted year that's flashing before my eyes, Brad. Mm -hmm. The Oscars 2021. I don't care what the Academy says. This scene from Money Plane was the purest moment of joy I had at the cinema all year. Whatever you want to wager on, the Money Plane has you covered. You want to bet on a dude f an alligator. Money plane. Until next time. Was that it? I'll be scooting my butt across the carpet and into your heart. 3.6. Not great. Not terrible. Happy birthday, Namita. Despite the promise of info, I was unable to determine what, if anything, a butt onion is supposed to be. I do not want to know what a butt onion is supposed to be. All right, well, that was the Oscars. Uh, some of those, I, geez, yeah, I, I didn't really catch all of those movies because they were very depressing premises. And as he said, I am looking to be depressed. I was not looking to be depressed in 2020. I was watching live action cartoons. I was watching old cartoons. I was watching a whole bunch of other stuff. But I heard lots of good things about the movies that they mentioned, especially uh, Judas and the Messiah. Judas and the Messiah got a lot of good reviews. So, yeah, I mean, that's good. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, what do you think? Did you watch any of the movies that they listed? Let me know in the comment section down below. And what did you think of them? And all of that good stuff. And if you're at this point in the video, I want to say thank you so much for getting to this point in the video. You are spectacular. If you really like this video, I have another one up here. I got a playlist down there, and I got an icon you can click on to subscribe. Remember to ring the bell if you do subscribe, and I'll see you all in another video, because my has got to be out. Peace.